Orlemar here with another Grand Arena video. Um, let's, let's see my opponent, uh, Mando Lores, uh, runs Bounty Hunters in Arena. Interesting, with Mando and Grief. Uh, defense heavy, 309 defensive wins, 600 offensive wins. Uh, but his roster, he's got quite a few gear 13, but it's kind of just a strange mix of gear 13. He did have a GG page, so I was able to see what he puts on defense typically. Uh, his boss is his fastest character at 286 without a speed set. Uh, so that could be interesting. Especially if he puts uh, Django lead with it. Uh, I put a heavy defense knowing what he'd put on defense. He got stumped up by my Padme and I put my new gas on defense. I also put Darth Revan and Bounty Hunters and then my Negotiator on defense. Uh, didn't think I needed Negotiator but I wasn't going to use it for offense anyway probably. So Then I just put uh, Phoenix and Akbar in the back. Uh, he had already attacked and only cleared my gas. He's got Geos and Ewoks up top, and then Bounty Hunter's boss lead. No Django, interesting. And then uh, Night Sister team on bottom with a Saj lead. Both are inferior teams to what they could be. I think Talzin lead is a much better uh, lead for Night Sisters. And I think Django lead is a much better lead for uh, Bounty Hunters. Uh, and they could have uh, Grief and Mando as well, which would make it tougher. So as it is right now, I can just use my CLS on it. And uh, we just want to control Boss, make sure he doesn't get his taunt off. Although with CLS and Han and Chewie, I've got Han and Chewie at Relic 3 and 4. So, uh, they can chew through the boss pretty quickly too if, it, if he does get his taunt off. So, just trying to control the characters that have thermals, uh, because those are the ones that are going to AOE me and take off my banners. I brought in Ezra and, uh, Old Ben as extra characters here because I'm <clears throat> outgeared in this matchup, but, uh, we don't want to taunt because we want to preserve banners if possible. We would like them to hit uh, Chewie and Han and uh, Luke. But, uh, looks like we're going to get full health back on Ezra. But we'll probably lose two banners, so we got a 58. That's all right. And then we can take out this Night Sister team. Let's just bring in Jedi Knight Revan. So we'll focus. Talzin first uh, just because she can do pretty heavy damage. She's only in gear 12 so we just wanted a death right away. Uh, now we can start working on getting the protection off of Asajj, take her out. So we've got their two zombie revives gone and now we can start going for Daka. Could heal here with Hermit Yoda, but I see Jedi Knight Revan's going to be next. I forgot that wouldn't cleanse uh, Yoda there when I put the Master's Training on him, but it didn't really matter too much anyway, so we got our heal with Jedi Knight Revan, and now we can focus on taking out uh, Daka. So with Asajj lead, Daka's the only way that they're going to have any revives, really, other than, I guess... Talzin could with her uh, mass assist if they killed somebody. So then that's that's the next person I want to target. But it doesn't really matter that much because I don't think they're going to kill any of my characters like this. So we'll just take out Asajj first because she's the one who gains turn meter from deaths. We took out Daka with Revan's AoE. And now we can just work on zombie for a while until uh, until we regenerate all our health and protection. Yoda will be able to keep foresight up on everybody so that we can't really be hit by them. 
and it's not like they're going to revive um, with the Asajj with Asajj's lead like they would with Talzin's lead so now we have full health and protection so we'll just finish it off and get 60 banners in the back a gear 12 Zeta Phoenix team don't want to underestimate that no, I feel like that's that's an easy one to underestimate with uh, it had Sabine with the Zeta as well, so. But we'll go up front first and do a couple solos here. Nest, my Gear 11 Nest, these Ewoks are weak enough that uh, I, I can just solo them without Kira. Just takes a little while, so I sped it up. They just keep hitting. They did get a couple dazes off on Nest. And got Ness down to yellow, so there was a little risk there, but Ness got through it. 63 banners. Then we can solo the, these Geos with Vader. And this should be 64 banners, unless uh, the only issue I ever have with this matchup is if Sunfat gets a counterattack. Uh, on right here, he should counterattack, but if it doesn't any damage, it can be a problem. So he got two attacks there, not ideal, but still got 64 banners because Sun Fact is, just doesn't do that much damage. So checking feats real quick, and we'll come back to it. Uh, there's this Newt team here. I can probably bring in my own Newt, and meh, I could probably undersize it. Uh, they're, they've got Grievous on this team, but their Grievous is pretty terrible, so... Um, trying to determine, should I AoE because Dooku is going to counterattack me? Now we can AoE to Dispel. They did get the stun off on B2, that's unfortunate because B2 is modded pretty well for Tenacity. Uh, so... Let's dispel Dridica and stun. Let's do another AoE and heal up Newt. And of course, the, uh, Magna Guard does an AoE to steal some protection from us. Dridica got a big hit in on uh, Magna Guard. And two of my characters are sh shocked, so I'm not going to be able to recover protection here. So it's kind of not ideal, but got 59 banners lost protection on two characters then we have night sisters left we have geos left um, we have shock team droidica we have our emperor palpatine team so we'll take that in against this uh, this phoenix team i want to make sure i control sabine if possible so we're gonna go try for a stun. Did not get it, so we'll fracture. Let's get some stuns here. Got four, perfect. Get some shock up. Now Kanan's taunting. Uh, we'll put daze up on him, shock up on him. Pass turn meter to palp. And use basics, let's stun him. And unfortunately, Sabine got her uh, AoE off, which is not ideal for banners for us because there's a lot of damage that's done from that. And now we've got a lot of protection to recover on all of our characters, and our only way to do that is with uh, Thrawn. So I want to take Sabine out fairly quickly here uh, to make sure that it, that doesn't happen again and then we're gonna slow this battle way down uh, just trying to recover protection on my characters unfortunately they hit Treya again and my Treya is super weak so Treya went from almost full protection to no protection so that might be a lost cause here so I'm not gonna fracture much and I'm going to just spread my stuns around and then I'm going to start uh, working on regenerating the protection on Palpatine. And then slowly work them down. Try for stuns whenever I can. 
and shock. Not there. Not. Reduce Thrawn's cooldowns whenever I can. Pass turn meter back to Palp to recover protection. And keep it going. This team's pretty resilient, so... I mean, if I had unlimited time, I might be able to get it all back, but I don't. So I'd top off Palp, and I think I can probably get uh, Dooku topped up here. Accidentally did the fracture there. That was not ideal. Um, but we're down to about a minute left anyway, so I think I should probably get going and start taking this team out. So we'll top up Dooku, and I think Trey has just a lost cause here. So um, we'll just finish this off and take out Chopper here. 60 banners. Made it to Kyber, collected another feat. And we've got to take out his Falcon fleet. It's a pretty good Falcon fleet, actually. I'll throw in my own Falcon. Biggs and Biston. My Biston's not very good. Would be nice if he was, but yeah, not worth it. So we'll just bring in the full fleet. No sense in undersizing this and potentially losing. Uh, so we're going to work on bigs if we can. They're working on our bigs. Not ideal. But he's tanky, so hopefully he can stay alive for a little bit here. And they took him out. We'll bring in a reinforcement of our own. We'll bring in Cassian instead of Phantom so that we can just take out their Falcon here. And then we don't have to worry about as much damage from them. And it's pretty much the match is over now because their falcon is gone and they won't be assisting constantly anymore so i think i made a mistake there probably should not have used the stealth move from cassian uh, because then they were able to target biston and get some extra banners uh, off against my team but oh well we got 60 banners full clear we'll get a win stopped our opponent in the front wall and in fourth at this moment